Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Customs. So today we're going to start a work in progress series of this Black Lantern Wonder Woman base. Uh, I'm going to paint it all up and I'm going to try to mimic some uh, old pillars that I'm looking on online and uh, just try to bring life to the pillar while Wonder Woman's supposed to be like, you know, the Black Lantern death and, you know, she's all white and pale and kind of zombie looking in a way. We want to bring the pillar to life. So, you know, she looks dead, the pillar is kind of alive. So... I'm um, just gonna do uh, start painting this all up. We'll be doing some dry brushing, some washes. Um, I don't have a specific formula. I'm just gonna be painting it and just getting it to where I want it. So it's all a matter of I had the idea, I got the pictures on my computer screen, and I'm gonna try to get it to as close as possible while doing my own little take on it. But so what I did was uh, I did a flat duplicate color of primer white. And we're going to let some of that white show while I use some other colors. So some of the other colors I've kind of just been toying with, as you can see here. Uh, we got a Liquid Test Soft Body. Um, this is a soft white. I'll probably be using this first just to kind of give it a little bit more of a coating. Uh, we got some uh, Badger Opaque uh, Flesh Tone. Because the pillar I'm looking at has got some kind of like, you know, beige look to it. But it's not like a hard brown. It's not like a really yellow it's kind of almost like a skin tone in a way so I'm gonna go uh, with this a little bit uh, then I got some other colors here from model air flat tan uh, we got some uh, what is this uh, uh, some kind of tan I don't know what the hell that is and then uh, we got some uh, sepia some uh, you know garage kit sepia which is almost like a transparent but what I'll probably be doing is water this down a lot and use it like a wash so it's just a matter of uh, diving in, uh, mixing these colors. Um, you know, I might go into other colors too as I progress on this and, uh, you know, maybe bring out the cracks a little bit more, bring out the washing. Uh, we'll do a lot of dry brushing. We'll go over all that as uh, time goes on. But just to give you an idea of what I'm starting with and just kind of going with it from there. But like I said, no specific formula. No, like, you know, I use this color for this, this color for that. It's just kind of, I'm just going to wing it and have fun with it. And just keep working it and working and working it until I get it to where I want it. And uh, then after the base is pretty much done, we'll work out the skulls. Because I got like, some cool ideas what I want to do with the skulls. Since they're supposed to be dead lanterns, you know. So I'm uh, just going to kind of run with it. So uh, we'll get set up and we'll start painting. Alright, so we did the soft white uh, coating on there, I didn't go too crazy, I just watered it down, just to give it a little bit of a coating, plus, you know, a little primer showing through and all that. So the next step is, uh, what I did is I did the air opaque flesh tone, and in the cup, it'd probably be hard to see, I put a lot of uh, water in there, and I put it just swished it around like this, you know, just going like that, and I'm just going to kind of mist it now, just to give a little bit of a, you know, this flesh tony type uh, tint, you know, just to kind of bring it out a little bit more. I'm just like letting the paint hit wherever. It's just kind of misting all over the place. Not really, you know, trying to force anything. Just gives it a little bit of a tint, a little bit of a color there. It's kind of hitting in these areas here, bringing out a little bit. Because uh, even if you go a little too heavy, it's okay, because we're going to do some dry brushing. And we'll take all that down. So in the cracks and stuff, I want to get in a little bit more. So we'll kind of push it a little bit. But, you know, like maybe, you know, maybe uh, just looking at the artwork on the screen, you know, there's some areas that got a little bit more. 
you know, maybe uh, we'll do some. Alright, you know, got a little bit of tin to it going. Alright, let me figure out my next step. Uh, we'll come back uh, once I figure out uh, what I want to hit with next. Alright, so I want to add a little bit of yellow tints in some areas, not too many. So, uh, what is this, uh, I don't know, this kind of tan color here. Whatever this is. Uh, I'm just going to hit it in some areas. You know, not too many places, just to get some kind of yellow shading here and there. It's almost like creating stains, I guess. Okay, I think that's good enough. Just get a little bit more in there. Alright, we got some flat tan. We're going to hit some flat tan in here. So we're going to kick this on a little bit. And I'm going to try to work out cracks a little bit. Some shadowing. Just bring it out a little bit more. I'm not worried that I'm going too heavy. Like I say, this is all going to be tone down again. As I'm spraying it, I'm not making sure it's completely perfect straight, you know, shadow. I'm kind of just letting it hit it. So one area is kind of a little darker and another one's kind of a little lighter. So it's just, just having fun with it. I think this flat tan is going to be the color used a lot on this one because I, I like the colors given me. let that set up a little bit and we'll come back uh, once we decide the next step here or there. 
Alright guys, so what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to start uh, getting into the deeper cracks and everything with this wash of the sepia. So uh, it's just a matter of getting in there and letting it uh, water, you know, just go in there and seek in the crevices and fall. You know, I got paper towels in case anything, you know, gets uh, overflowed or gets too watery in certain areas. Um, even if it falls over the size, I'm not really going to care, I'll just wipe it up. And that'll give me a chance to like leave some, you know, watermarks and just run with it. So, uh... Just gonna go in there and just have fun with it and just keep taking my time and uh get it done. <laughs> 